Today we're checking out The Sims 4 to test out a new challenge. I'm not allowed to leave my property. I'm going to be starting off as uh, our protagonist. This is Gandizzle McSquizzle. The name is still being workshopped, but that's the general idea, is that he's here and he has no money to start as we traditionally do. Um, this is uh, going to be... This is going to be done by opening businesses on the property using a mod. I'm going to be trying out uh, some of the DLC packs. Um, we're going to be starting just by taking selfies. It's the only way to make money when we have no money and we have to stay on our property. So without any further ado, I guess we shouldn't waste all this on exercise. But we're basically emaciated and living the millennial houseless life. Not even a tiny home. We just bought a piece of property. All the neighbors are mired in wealth. Uh, all of the boomers and... Uh, yeah, I'm just a young guy. Actually, I, I'm growing old. Uh, <laughs> I'm growing old now, and I still can't afford a house. So, um, maybe some of you guys can relate th to this problem. Anyway, I, I don't mean to get too real on, on you. Um, the one thing that is fortunately affordable for our generation is phones. So, despite the fact that we can't afford basic necessities, we can, uh, we can always take just pictures of ourselves and sell them on stock photos on the internet thereby selling our bodies. Um, this is getting almost too real already. Um, in order to make some extra dough, and there's actually no limit on the amount of time that it takes to do this, so I'm probably just going to be standing here for 25 minutes because there's no limit. To this. So I'm just going to keep taking selfies, maybe uh, pictures of myself and also passers-by. Don't question the legality of it. It's a video game. Um, but yeah, we're here with Twitch chat, and we're going to be trying this out. I'm probably going to skip through some of this because it's going to be kind of boring. Uh, but I, I do invite you to just join me in looking at these incredible photos I'll be taking of the neighborhood. All right, here we go. Another good stock photo coming right up of someone else that will probably never know that I've taken a picture of them. But it's all in... Uh, it's all just a video game, right? Nobody's doing this in real life, taking pictures of crowds and then selling them online. I'm sure that doesn't happen. I wonder if I'm in any of those photos. Do you know those stock photo sites? This is a thing. Maybe it's like as a content creator, I'm too familiar with the world of stock photos. Although there are some people who just, I think, sell their, sell their images pictures of themselves in various poses and they have the best names on these stock image websites now the money that we're making is actually diminishing um so i'm just going to be here what time is it right now it's 9 40 a.m so we're going to be here for a while quite a while and um just taking photos of the neighborhood and it's going it's not going to be very fun at all we're just going to be here just taking pictures of people maybe some runners will pass by and we can make some more money i'm going to consult with chat to see if we could make any more money somehow Pictures of, I'll probably sell these on the stock site as picture of Gandalf the pimp or something like that. There I am. I look good. Mm. Yeah, maybe I could get some of my chest hair in here. We're just having this debate about which, I mean, I don't have as much chest hair on the left side or on the right side of my chest as on the left side of my chest and it bothers me because it's uneven you know this sim he is perfect he has the same amount of chest hair on both sides of his chest so to me like i'm jealous you know of him but i i think let's just go ahead and and s it, it, we've already done the same thing like 20 times and we are probably going to start starving to this so let's see if we can actually survive to get a piece of furniture so just give me a minute Okay, so we've had somebody trespassing on my property, so in self-defense, I'm just going to take photos of Eliza. Is this Eliza? That's her name? People are telling me that her name is Eliza. But can she talk to animals or something? What am I trying to do here? Oh, come back. I want to take a photo of you. You're on my property. Well, you just left. I need to identify you for the police. And then, um sell the image on the police's stock photo website, of course, is what I meant to say. Uh, but yeah, I, I think this is totally fine. I mean, she was trespassing on my property, and I just happened to be here doing push-ups in my underwear. Um, here we go. I should call, I should call the police. All right, well, we've made $609 doing this, so I think that's a start. So we're doing our first money test here. We've got uh, perhaps 
painting a painting will be a better, more lucrative way of making money. We're going to probably time this out, though. This is a large classic painting, and I'm hoping that this will be more lucrative uh, than the taking of pictures, because so far we've probably broken the law many times, many times, and the police should be over here. But, I mean, think of how long would it be before these people... <laughs> Before these people in game find out that I took photos of them and then sold them to a stock photo website, it would take a while at the very least. But now at least the way of making money is getting more legitimate. Although I do think it's taking him longer time on the clock to finish these paintings. What a beautiful painting. I, I'm painting something that appears to be out of Rain World. Relishing every brushstroke. He likes painting, my god. Sell to a collector. Okay, so there we are. We could put them around, but hang on a second. Do we have, uh, where are our skills? Photography. Oh, our photography skill is improving as well. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, but painting must improve faster, right? Let's go ahead. We'll make another classic painting. A classic painting. Worth gazillions of dollars. We'll sell it like, um, Rembrandt. I've never actually heard this name pronounced, but I've been reading about all of these Dutch painters. My favorite of them is Rembrandt. Three Wolf Moon, they'll call it, yes. Or like a nice hopper, you know? Change the wish things to an artist when possibly he could do that, except he's going to have an interest Hebrews, in business. Broku, father of Brohan. It's been seven months of listening to you. I like how Hebrews you should came out to Sim be City Hebrews. <laughs> do, you, do you think that the uh, that the Hebrews were Hebrews? <laughs> oh, that's that is a pun I've not even heard yet. And Mechator, thank you very much for the seven months. I actually did buy the Sim City uh, box set uh, recently. I saw it sealed on eBay. I was like, ooh, that's kind of rare. Some of those games are super cheap. Yeah, we might do some city building though. But thank you very much for the sub. I want to pork Miss Piggy. Thank you very much for the sub. Uh, of all the names I've read today, that one is that one is special. Mm, my needs are uh, getting worse. Okay, so we should probably hail someone from nearby. I'm wondering if we'll have enough money though from our painting enterprise. We are getting more creative, but sooner or later we gotta buy like a rain collector so that we can sell the rain. Oh, he's on fire. Oh my god, hang on a second. Okay, we are making more money from the paintings. This feels a little bit more Sims-like and legitimate than, uh, what, what were we doing before? We were just selling selfies and pictures of other people on the internet. Become recognized for my work. I'm not gonna just ignore everything else. Uh, though we should start to create new sources of passive income for our Sims. So let's go ahead and see, uh, Turbine. Wind Turbine, classic wind turbine. Just a classic wind turbine there. Um, this is what I was talking about. We gotta get some dew collector and rain collectors. Might be a little piece together, but this dew collector. Precipitation. Okay, so we gotta wait for the precipitation, but I, I'm thinking that I would prefer to have, uh, just a regular, regular boy wind turbine. That does cost $715, though, so we're gonna need to paint, I would say, like, four or five more paintings until we're able to do that. So let's go ahead, get a move on, and get the rest of these stupid paintings painted before I go insane, which is probably going to happen. Yes, Van Gogh huh, is also another one of my favorite Dutch painters, uh, but I've, again, unfortunately only seen the name written down. I haven't heard it pronounced anymore, so it's, uh, it's just my guess. It's my best guess. Painting, then a picture of the painting for more money. Wow. Could sell it like an NFT in an NFT. Someone was trying to convince me of the value of NFTs the other day, and he was like, dude. And then I just said, please stop. <laughs> please stop. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, it's getting very tense over here. Oh, no, I told you that this would happen. He's like, oh, my God, having a bit of a crisis. Uh, bladder will take care of itself. I can't be arrested on my own property. Duh. Uh, but we will have to call in a pizza for backup soon. It's fine. I mean, he was making more money. He's doing some sit-ups, but he should be able to at least take selfies. Okay, good. Now he's in this annoyed expression, so maybe this will sell for some more money. Well, we'll see. 
I mean, what's in demand? Um, <laughs> maybe some, like, Doomer influencers will want to buy the pictures of me being very upset. He's inspired again. Let's go ahead and paint again now that he's taken these pictures of himself. He's had some sort of art catharsis. Oh, no, I didn't mean to make it that small. Maybe he can do them more efficiently, though. Yeah, you're right. I should have taken feet pictures. Those sell for more, right? I'm told... Oh, I can sell the small boy painting to a collector, but he is inspired. Pop art painting. Oh my gosh, wow. We could do like a an Andy Warhol painting. Unfortunately, I've also not... I'm going to stop it with that joke. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, it's running out of steam. I just think it's very fun to say. But let's talk about the feet pictures. Why didn't anyone pay me for my feet pictures? I We did a charity stream a few months ago. Uh, actually, to be fair, we did the charity stream a few months ago, and we did get a $1,000 donation for the charity stream when I revealed to you one of my toes, which I have just left as one of the lost images on the internet, you know? There's a picture of my toe out there somewhere in the vast void of the internet to be had by collectors. Okay, now I'm really uncomfortable. I have a pee situation going on. So let's just let that come to pass. Or am I allowed to urinate? Just around? I mean, the pizza we could get, we'll get him some basic furniture, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, hang on a second, so we'll just go ahead and do... Nah, nah. Nah, let's just keep taking selfies. I don't want to waste the money. You know, I was getting so close to the, um, excuse me, to the wind turbine. Microwave? No, I don't need that. Why, why would I waste my, look, sad boy. See, the last time that I took pictures of myself, I got, um, hang on a second. Uh, I got inspired. So maybe we'll use the photography. Just keep doing, <laughs> Delving into worse and worse art, but can I take those foot pictures because yes. indeed those might sell for more Or maybe I could take a picture of the frame Unfortunately, I can't angle the camera down enough to get a picture of the feet Let's just put less and less effort into it because I'm a better and better artist So that means I don't have to care as much, right? I can send sell you a picture of a squiggle and get paid a million dollars for it. Hang on a minute Did he leave the property you are not to go over there it's fine since I didn't authorize it, but, you know, stay. We didn't do anything off of the property. It's not over, but keep taking selfies. Oh, now he's like the scream. You know, this is actually a rather good picture. He could launch an influencer career. Yeah, yeah. I did, I cheat. I'm sorry, this is my sad cheating face. I cheated, I walked on the pavement. Uh, judge me. You'll never take me alive. All right, we're so close to a wind turbine. It looks like he's going to pass out of starvation in a moment. But, you know, uh, he'll be fine. It's turbine time. It, wait, what is it? It's, uh, it's morbin time. It's turbine time. It's turpentine. Get it? <laughs> act naturally, act naturally. Um, hmm. Time for a windmill. It's tur- It's turbin time. Get it? Like, Morbius? Trying to stay relevant. Now, aren't we supposed to make money from- Wait a second, what was that? I just pooped five green poops. How did that happen? So, he is giving off a visible stench now. Resu yes, resume the painting. Just as long as you aren't going to die, his hygiene is really going down. Oh, but he did wee wee. There we are. He wee weed. Yes. Improvement. Improvement. Ah. Oh no! Why did I have to scrap the painting? Oh, cause he was in a bad mood. I won't allow. All right. Well, whatever. Oh, no, he's just finishing it off. Never mind. Don't scrap it. Don't scrap it. Keep working on it. Yes! Sell to the collector. 213. We're making more money already. So, using my doo-doo, I guess I'm going to create the next painting. We've moved on to the abstract 
part of my career. I am covered in filth, which means that I am being inspired by the art gods, of course. And now he's moving on to creating better canvases. He's selling more of them because they are covered in his stench. So I'm literally blood, bleeding, sweating, uh, crying, as well as peeing and pooping on the pieces of art that I create. And it's just skyrocketing the value of these art sales, which is incredible. And honestly, I don't even need to pay for paint anymore because I'm just getting it out of my natural bodily fluids. There will be more. Think of all the fluids available to me. And at the same time, you know, our bills are being partly paid off. You know, we have the 62 simoleons per, what is this, per month? Per month, I assume? Or maybe, oh no, per day. 62 simoleons per day. And we're generating about five from this doohickey over here. And we could probably upgrade that if I had the time, if I weren't painting these incredible canvases right here. So we're just going to, I suppose, continue grinding out the art and then ordering a pizza whenever we're about to die. stop doing push-ups and work. Oh, no, we did. We got the, so good. We have 212. This is getting more efficient. Fantastic. Classic painting. Now, we will get on to the more interesting businessy side effects as soon as we make enough money to start a mini money to start a business. But as you know, it takes a lot of stupid art in order to start a sustainable business. You need to have some sort of reputation to live up to. Like when you open up your pizza parlor, you need to be able to point to the bad looking paintings on the wall and just tell people, oh, that's one of mine. You know, you could buy it from me uh, for more money than it's worth there is a pizza place that does this that i know of and i honestly think it's a great plan i would trust a guy who started a pizza place to have been a great artist in a past uh career so let's let's uh, raise more money for the good capitalistic fight shall we yeah maybe i could cut off one of my ears then people would take me seriously for once. <laughs> Damn it. None of you guys listen. It, though it is getting to the point where it seems like it would be more worthwhile to invest in, like, my personal life. I gotta say, like, guys, when I became a YouTuber, I moved to Florida. You know this story about me. I didn't have a lot of money to start. Um, I still don't. I still don't have anything. Um, I'm just barely getting by. However, that being said, I'm not as, as in quite this bad a position anymore. I was homeless for about a day. Um, but what was I going to say? I was afraid to buy anything when I first... I had a bed and a desk when I first moved here. But then I realized I think I should buy a couch. So I went out on a limb and I did. I bought a couch. I treated myself to a couch. But this is how you have to begin. Because when you give up your career in order to become a YouTuber... You have one must ask oneself these questions. Also, unique salad. Thank you for gifting the ten subs. I do appreciate that. Hopefully, we will continue surviving. Otherwise, it'll just be one of those real life off the grid survival channel uh, channels, which would be a great time. Shower, shower. Do we have? We need like a raw shower. Hmm. Everyone has an opinion on this. Everyone has opinion. Unique Salad, thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. Why do you think that the population of Nevada exploded so much? Do you think people want to move to the desert? No, it just California was just robbing everybody dry who had, like, any type of personal income. California and New York, why do you think so many people left those states when they had, uh, well, what was I going to say, work from home? Yeah, basically everybody I became friends with was, like, a software engineer working remotely. It was like, ah, I've been outside today, too. Oh, this is amazing. We can be outside together. Uh, don't you love real life stories from the life of AA? There we go. Can I sleep on this? No, I can't sleep on it. Do we have a bed? Do we have a bed? Bed. Okay, we could sleep in the anti-goblin children bed. Now, we're going to sleep in the Gordian cot. Finally. Ah. There we are. Diving for furniture, but I'm not allowed to leave my property. 
All right, so it's come the time. It's come time that we need to make an investment in our health. Otherwise, we could die. I'm pretty sure that you do grow to old age and die in this game. I'm not quite sure how long it takes, but it did happen in The Sims 2. I died in like 15 days in The Sims 2. I think we've got some more time, but we have to take care of ourselves so that we continue can continue painting the paintings. Uh, because it is occurring to me that that seems to be the most lucrative venture here. So I'm going to be in a sleep boy for a couple more hours, and then maybe we'll order one slice of pizza I'll allow myself. But this is kind of the average YouTuber lifestyle, guys. When I moved to Florida, this is what I did for maybe the first six months or so. I was like, am I going to buy a couch? No, nah, I don't need that. I had a bed and a desk, and I just made content. I was on my grind set. So this is oddly relatable, okay? You know? I'm just, I'm just talking right now. I'm just... I'm literally just talking. It's it's odd how real this game gets at times. He's still in his pajamas. Oh, man, this is kind of against the purpose of the challenge, but just keep going. See, painting paintings is basically an allegory for making YouTube videos. I have soullessly grinded my way to the top, and now I'm the best. I'm the greatest YouTuber. I'm the best at this. But here, <laughs> this is me in my apartment. I got the bed. I don't I didn't get a wind turbine though. I didn't have that. It was it was the AA meeting Sigma male grind set. This is how I did it, folks. I'm illustrate I don't have a draw of my life. I don't do this like these other YouTubers. I do a Sims challenge out my life. Okay, unfortunately we have not been able to raise the energy. This is like at the end of my first year when I got very dejected with content creation. I was thinking, what am I going to make next? And I was wearing wolf shirts. Why does he have a wolf shirt? He might actually be a wolf man, though. Fair. He has not the energy to resume, though, so... <clears throat> We could get hygiene, but we're just going to have to resort to taking more selfies. I'll be back after I've taken, like, 30 or 35 more selfies. Travel to the gym? No, the gym was my house. I just went for runs. Although now I have a very good group to run with. I, I like my, uh... I do enjoy my social life here. Hmm. Slob. Oh. He looks kind of like, a. Uh, uh, who is the singer from the 60s, that girl? Uh, what's her name? Not Joni Mitchell. Not Joan Baez. Jane, was her name Jane? Jesus. Nah. I'll just take pictures of my picture. I sell those as NFTs. There we are. The average NFT salesman experience. Good. This one is called Happy Place. Mm, whoops. I didn't mean to do screenshot. There we go. Not Janice Joplin. I mean, Janice Joplin was a pretty good guess. That was a pretty good guess. He does kind of look like Gaben. Gabe Newell? Yeah, he could be a Gabe Newell. Like, before he founded Steam, maybe this was the Gabe grind set, you know? Like, he was just working on pictures of Gordon Freeman for Half-Life, you know, as Gabe would do, I would imagine, when I was having all my dreams about Gabe the other night. Ah, oh, man, the photography is really improving. Wow. There we go. Gabe, after he goes bankrupt, yeah, after Epic Games takes over Steam or something like that. Or whoever it is, CD Projekt Red. I, d I gotta say, I do kind of like GOG. I think they've got a good idea with the DRM, how, like, you, you actually own the game. You can put it on a hard drive. I like that. I think we get that for some of our Steam purchases too, right? But it would be nice if we could all just go to the devs' websites and download the game because I think if folks like the Indie Stone, I'm pretty sure, don't we? Doesn't the Indie Stone sell you a copy of it with that? Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off on a tangent here. But yeah, this is Sad Gaben. I like to call this Sad Gaben. 
Yeah, he's making more money off of these selfies, it seems to me. As Am I noticing the trend? Am I the only one noticing this? Honestly, this is kind of a nice picture. I'm liking the wolf shirt, too. I think that was a good choice. Oh, no, only $21. Okay, so what is the next thing we got to do to get your spirits up and turn that frown upside down? Gandizzle McSquizzle. He needs a shot. No, we can't afford a shower. We could buy a pizza. Maybe we'll phone a pizza. Man, this is so oddly real. This is like every actual day of my own life. I'm like, should I go out and buy some degenerate sushi today? You know, that's kind of like my own plans. This is getting way too real. This, I can't take it, guys. I'm going to have to stop playing this. Oh my god, this is the only meaningful choice that I get to make every day. Yes, public sushi. I really like the public sushi. It's pretty good. I enjoy the refrigeration taste. We had this discussion, didn't we? Oh my god. Why is it playing like sad Lord of the Rings music? Could he get a sink, potentially? I went to a fan- this thing- here's the reason why I like the grocery store degenerate sushi. I went to a very fancy sushi place. And it wasn't it wasn't as good as the degenerate sushi. And it was so much more expensive, and I didn't even like it. I was just paying for this atmosphere of which there was Oh no, he's technically off the property. Um get out get out of there. Get out of there, you're cheating. I'm gonna edit this part out of the VOD. That was total oh, that was BS though. He she could have walked there. She could have walked there. And how come he didn't even get the pizza? She didn't even hand it off to him. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. You're wrong. Oh, wait, he already ate the pizza? That's p I dare you. I dare you. AA canceled. Steps off of property and no property challenge. I dare you. Be the one who tries to take me down. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have a door. Well, could we put... Oh, no, there's the pizza right there. Hang on a second. Well, we are allowed to erect a door. Okay, it's fine. I said we were testing out the challenge. Don't get your shorts in a knot. All right, let's see if we can get a door. Just a regular door. That's allowed. Just enough door. That's exactly what I was looking for. Um, mm. How do we rotate this? Rotate, boy. Uh, what is the rotate button in The Sims 4? Can anyone help me out, please? Oh, I need a wall? False. Okay. Um, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Okay, so the pizza has arrived, but it is unfortunately off the property. If this were the NFL, she would have to have two toes inbound. So we're not allowed to get the property. F I mean, the pizza from this one. We have to get her in. So we're going to need to build a single wall. There we go. And we're going to do... Uh, where is the door option? We had There we go, just enough door. So we'll put our door there. And which side is outside and which side is inside? I'm assuming that this is outside and the other side. Unless I'm totally wrong. In which case, she just knocks on the other side and that's fine. So we're going to exit building mode. We're going to go over here. Come over here, pizza lady. You got to bring me the pizza. Bring me the pizza. Bring it over. Bring it over, gorgeous. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. Well, it's fine. We're just testing out the challenge. This isn't the real challenge, so I'll allow it. Look, she had one foot. That foot is slightly in bounds. The pizza is the pizza is aggressive. There we are. I didn't leave the property. I didn't leave the property. It's fine. I'm making up rules as we go. I dare you. I dare you to tell me that I did it wrong. I'm going to savor this pizza. Savoring the pizza. All right. We barely got it in. I got someone challenged. Some of Twitch chat attempted to challenge the play. I'm calling it because I'm the sole ref of my own playthrough. This is fine. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm flirty? All right, whatever. I'm going to savor this pizza and enjoy it. So let's go ahead and check out our needs. Do we have enough energy left to... Oh my God, look. We have almost the entire pizza still there. Oh my god, how are we going to take out the trash? Maybe we'll just have it here. Oh, we're fine. Have another slice. 
Why don't you? Yeah, see, you're fine now. You've just had a catharsis. You can keep painting. Good. Good job, Gandalf. The confused. Sell the painting. Stop sleeping. There we go. Okay, uh, make another. We were doing better with the abstract painting, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again. All right, so we have a door. We have a pizza that's going to go bad. We have a bed. We're making our way through. We're going to start to get more passive income, but we got to figure out how to get a real business plan. We got to build leverage. We got to start flirting with women. We got to start making babies so that we can rely on them for labor as they get older, you know. Bring them up into the family business. This is, you know, for the number of parallels that this game has had to my real life so far, I'm a little bit worried about any potential future family members that I might bring into the world. So just like watch out now. Or if, you know, if you're finding this out, this might be the source. But yeah, we're going to let um, Gandalf McSquizzlebeard make a few more paintings or whatever his name is. It's odd how similar this is to real life. Hey, hey. I mean, except instead of painting paintings, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm not, I'm not even one happy with this, guys. I'm not even one happy. I am not a happy. This is kind of like my real life, you know? Um, hang on a second. Let me do impressionism. Yeah, here we go. This represents me trying to make different types of videos. My social is very low, so I'm talking to you all on the internet, and this is keeping me relatively sane until one of several scheduled activities that will take this place this week. This is actually true about my real life. Um, until one of several activities that I use to stay sane. Which, surprisingly, don't involve a lot of drinking. Is this getting too real now? Deep philosophical commentary, but I would have it no other way, really. Well, if this were my real life, I would also be listening to loud music in the background. It feels good to listen to loud music. You know, when you're just at your house, listening to loud music, but not enough to disturb the neighbors, because you want to keep listening to loud music. You know, so you want to keep it just not loud enough. That, like, they don't complain, you know? Oh, good. He's somehow inspired again. This is true. Like, in spite of all pr presumable difficulties, I am still able to just keep churning out video after video, day after day. How will I keep going? My God. Despite all of the difficulties that get in the way, you know, I managed to somehow create something so amazing, so mm, socks knocking off. That it's just so interesting. And it really is like a deep dive into... Look, there's... Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's just our protagonist in the fetal position. Sitting against a pole with other people as shadowy figures in the background. We are able to open a bar, a club, a cafe, a daycare, a gym, a pet daycare, a store, a vet clinic, and then whatever these things are all at once in our... Uh, in our property and for the mat for that matter let's just say that it's a dog and a cat hang out and a breathing uh breeding ground excuse me science lair maybe later but just so that we could attract in some of the animals to maybe be taken care of during the day at our daycare um okay so we're going to just open up every business on our lot and that is good but now we're going to need uh so what do we need for this thing so we need an espresso bar. So let's go ahead and look this up. Espresso bar. Oops, espresso. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how to save up to buy one of these. This is the money maker. Now everyone can shake their money maker. I'm going to need to make sure to separate some of these businesses. Okay, but here we go. $800 for easy energy espresso bar. I think this should be all we need to get started on our cafe. Let's start with the cafe. Just a simple business. Easy energy espresso bar. So maybe somebody walks by and they want to buy an espresso from the smelly man on the street, you know? Here we go. We'll, we'll open it up so that it's facing the enemy. I mean the customers. And then we'll put that down and... All right, let's see what, uh, let's see what our protagonist decides to do here. And, you know, I mean, he could write off his, uh, all the food that goes bad. Or I wonder, you know... There's just so many options here. So many options here. It's like he's getting paid to sleep. You know, this might be the actual millennial strategy for getting by in, like, a post-pandemic world. 
in a world that's post employers that you just open up your own everyone's house is in addition to a house it's just a bar they wear a lot of hats they take care of kids they paint paintings they sell them online they're selling stock photos this is going to be basically the next century there's no more jobs anymore there's no more employers there's no more pensions but how do we attract people to the bar let's go ahead and tend the bar we could also hire a barista but maybe that lady who walks by will want to buy something from me. The internet doesn't work off the grid. Hang on a second. We got to bring our house back on the grid. We're, We're going to need some pretty fast internet to get this to work. Um, hang on a second. No, not off the grid. We are reducing and recycling, though, because we're good people. There we go. I'm virtue signaling. Here we go. And let me hire a barista. I am allowed to hire people. I'm allowed to bring as many people onto my lot as I want. Okay, so we're going to hire a barista for $100 a day and see how that goes. Where is my barista? No, you're the pizza lady. Are you also a barista? Are you also conducting this insane social experiment like I am at my house? I'm going to continue painting the sad painting over here. Oh, whoops. Uh, hang on a second. Here we go. Now this is turning into an interesting challenge. Oh, no, there's the barista over there. Why aren't you working? Why are you running? Come over here. I I'm, I'm, don't want to put my painting down. Oh, good. I can call to him while I'm painting. I'm going to manage you while I'm painting. and I'm going to make sure you do your job right. There we go. So he's going over. He's enjoying my odor. Eric Lewis, good. So I have my first employee. Garani, Gluna, Ozane. What am I trying to do? I was tending the bar so he can do it. Why am I paying you? Good. Okay, he's thinking about the bar or the cafe that we've opened. So now he's just there. We might need to get it by a chair or something. It's basically like the world's most advanced lemonade stand. Maybe I could buy some of my own wares in order to attract in customers off the street, you know? Like when the owner hangs out at their own store to try to trick people into buying stuff at it. Yeah, this business is great, right? Yeah, there's no way that it's mine, probably. Could we rename him? I think that should be part of my rights as an employer. I get to rename my employees, right? Rista the Barista. Good. I'm making friends with my employees. Well, I just kind of want to let him, you know, do your own thing. Hey, can we call over some people over there and maybe get him? To hang on a second. My needs are really out of whack again. Maybe I can eat some more of this smelly pizza. To take out some more. Yeah, there we go. Take a slice. Good. So that's accelerated our bathroom needs as well. Oh, thank God. I'm going to take a... Maybe the final dump after I eat this pizza. Good, this pizza's like two days old. It's just been sitting out there. Uh, this is basically the year 2100 in America. Post-apocalypse. I don't know, but the cats are keeping me company. I like them. Oh no, he went sad boy again. Uh, we're going to have to buy a shower soon. Okay, time to take more selfies. I'm one of the few people who can actually... Having a good time, she gained the dislikes. No! He loves photography. What, are you kidding me? He likes taking pictures of himself as a sad, sad girl. There we are. Hmm. Oh, look, we could sell this slice of... No, we can't sell the slice of pizza, unfortunately. But look at how much more money he's making from photography. That's nice. I have... Uh, what do I have? I have the the Animals DLC. I have the Live In... Or the Go To Work, Go To Hell DLC. I have the... Um, I can't remember. There's one other one. I, I picked out a few that I thought I'd need for the challenge, though. Oh my gosh, that's like an album cover. Wow. Front desk. That sounds good. He's making so much money from these selfies now, though. Maybe I should just take selfies. Man, if people could make 
this much money taking selfies. Good. Look at me. I'm on my business grind. I'm like a hustle bro or something like that. There we are. I make more money off my Instagram profile than I do off of my business. Brands want me to sell their coffee. I've never sold any coffee in my life. I just look good in front of a thing where I'm selling coffee, but I... It's just... There's coffee there. I've never sold any of it. And that's why we're in a recession. People are just looking at pictures of coffee, and they're not actually able to buy any coffee because, uh... Uh, real wages haven't risen with, uh, labor as much as they have in past years. Sorry if this is too real for you. But this is just, you know, this is the influencer economy we're living in today. I hate to say it. It's, that's the reality, the sad economic reality of the world. Realistic challenge. The money, what is that video? The, the money is fake, the jobs are fake, the economy is fake. Is this getting too real for you guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, my life is so sad. Honest honest to goodness, this might be this might be true about social media platforms. It's it's crazy to think what will happen to these YouTube videos. They're just going to listen they're just going to live on a server somewhere forever. And then people will look back at them and study them years from now. I'll be seen as like a modern day philosopher either that or just a dingus which is probably more likely everyone everyone loves to hear the the sad philosophical economic commentaries all right but let's go ahead and buy a countertop while we can ah uh, so sad oh we were so right that works oh this is awesome oh my gosh wow okay so now we have a cash register so they can get the food and then pay for it, which is basically, that's business, people. Unfortunately, I'm unable to throw anything away as a slob. We have reached an impasse. We still can't open this. Well, let's try tending. Let's try tending. Maybe someone will be hungry for, hungry for love at midnight, and they'll come to the house. No, that's not very good. I mean, I could have just kept painting paintings, but I want to see if I can get this live-in business thing to work. That's the truth. That's kind of what I'm testing here. Oh, yeah. Clicking the door to open the business again. Uh, no, it didn't work. Maybe I need to enclose it. Hang on a second. We're in a cafe without a sink. We just... We just put the food in there. Why do we need to... We don't need to wash our hands. We just rub them on our shirt, you know? Hang on a second. All right. You know what? Since you guys are trying to go with this, like, uh, board of health thing... Personally, I'm not so crazy about that. I think we should just live your life. Um, where do we get... How do we get walls? Wall. Wall. Wall, boy. Enormous half wall. How, where does this regular wall? Almost medium. Oh, my God. There's too many choices. I have analysis paralysis. Wall tool B. All right. What happened to wall tool A? Room tool. Room boy. It's already too expensive. <laughs> My god, as a millennial, I can't afford anything. <laughs> this is awful. I'm just sleeping in a sleeping bag. <laughs> it's okay. I have barely enough energy to continue my influencer career. I'm just going to keep going and be nice to the animals outside. They're the only, my only friends. Right now I'll sleep. It's okay. I'll just stop. I don't even have animals. I'm in my happy place. The the honest to goodness truth is that this is uh, a success story among millennials. That this is somebody who made it. They made it <laughs> up from the bootstraps. This is the American dream people. This man gave it all up in order to start his own daycare slash barista place slash club i think the nightclub what is the business that requires the least amount of room i'm thinking maybe this food business thing wasn't such a great idea i'm having to shell out all of this money on operations why not just open up a dance club it kind of smells in here already we've already got that option ticked off um you know if we have 
I mean, we'd have to like section off the kids into another part as we got the daycare, but people could drop their kids off and then they go dance and, you know, they'd have a great time. And then we get two for one, you know, and then we charge them for a drink or something like that. And then they stay longer. And then maybe when they're in a really inebriated state, they buy one of my bad paintings. Do I have a point or do I have a point? You know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, you could steal my idea. Puppet EVF, thank you very much for the 25 months. I think that this might be the most creative idea I've ever come up with. And I might just stop, I just end my YouTube career immediately in order to execute on this incredible business venture. We're going to go ahead and just wake up and be sad again and eat more of that probably like deadly pizza. I could actually die from this. They might have to remove my stomach after I eat this. Okay, good. We are now not hungry. Are we able to resume? No, we aren't able to resume the sad painting. Okay, I think I am going to need to buy a sink, but let's just keep taking selfies. Sorry I keep having to do these. I'm just, you know. It's what makes the money. Make sure to get all the surface area on my face that the whole world can see every pore on my body. You ever watch these channels like this on YouTube? It's just some guy looking at his cat all day, and they're very good videos. But it's like a two-minute video of, like, I'm booping my cat on the snoot. And it gets, like, 50 million views. I'm telling you guys, if you have a cat, this is the millennial strategy. I'm telling you. This is not an unrealistic challenge. I'm taking pictures of me with women who just happen to be passing by so that it looks like I'm living that Flava Flav lifestyle. This is how... And then I'm going to start my own, uh... My own pick PUA channel. I just took a picture of... Of, uh... Of a woman at my... I made it with my business. Made it in the business world. I'm taking pictures of people at my business and I'm actually I'm actually sad from how much success I've had because of how I've realized that um you know it was all about the beginning and I I miss starting the business. I miss starting the business because I don't even find the results of the business uh flavorful or exciting anymore. You know. And maybe Flava Flav isn't even the right analogy here, but buy a street trash can to clean up. We can? I don't, well, why do I need it to be clean? It's it's kind of like that hipster look and feel. I, thank you for your... Hang on a second. Don't you dare walk on that pavement, sir. Yes, use your non-existent... We can't even afford a mop. Here we go. Sad boy. He has such pretty eyes. Wow. I mean, I'm not into him, but I would be if I were, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we make a lot of money on selfies, though we don't make as much money doing other things. Though I'm also an excellent photographer. We have great... We have, like, a Google Pixel 1 million, and it has, uh, like, a zillion pixels in, in every picture, yeah. Because Google can now take... Pixels don't even exist anymore. It's just a fluid image. It's analog. Okay, bladder. Time to open up a toilet. We could combine the business needs with our... Oh, no! Ah! Oh, dang it. I just fixed this. I'm great at fixing wind turbines. Of course I am. All right, in the meantime, I'm pretty sure that we could afford uh, maybe a shower now. So let's go ahead and do that. Shower. Search for the shower. The shower in The Sims 1 is like 600. So, oh, this one's only 375. Only three ninety nine. I think just to make just to make our business extra edgy, we're gonna go ahead and put in a diagonal shower, just to show people that we don't always like things so prim and perfect. You know, now that I am clean, I can paint my sad painting again. But at least the only thing that I'm lacking now is a social life. This is oddly similar to the real-life AA uh, struggles. Uh, during my weekly, uh, during my weekly nodes at which I talk to the other people. Now there's a cat on my bed. 
Uh, this really makes me want to adopt a cat or something like that. Where is Mayor Whiskerton? Mayor Whiskerton. Now, nah, just keep working. You know, we've almost got enough money to buy a room. Look, a sad dog. Oh, he's being inspired by his surroundings. So that means that he's actually somewhat engaged with his real life experiences again. He's good. $258 for that. That's great. And it's also improving our creativity. Isn't that nice? Yes, classic painting again. All right, we'll have a bar business in no time. Hey, it isn't depressing, it's realistic. The door is there so that we can get delivered pizzas. Stop asking these, we've already been over, we've been over this. Oh, you just got here, sorry, pygmy. I apologize. I've just been repeating myself for hours, telling people about how sad and lonely I am. Um, and no one is listening. Here we go, <laughs> classic painting. Why did he pay a hundred bucks? Is it to that stupid barista who doesn't even show up? Why am I paying you? Oh no, I pay a hundred dollars for the canvas, don't I? He's the overlord, he is the CEO. Why are you on my property? Hang on a moment. Get the hell off of here. You wanna buy a coffee? What are you talking about? You have an EA Sports shirt on, you'll buy anything. Uh, jokes, jokes, jokes. Says the guy who just spent $160 on Sims 4 DLC. He's, de he's depressed. He is depressed. I'm not lying. I'm, I did. I just spent... I, I'll probably end up spending $200 on Sims DLC. Uh, it's in the game. <laughs> just walk up to him. I saw that uh, Uniqlo started selling this uh, SimCity 2000 shirt. Somebody tweeted it to me on Twitter. They tagged me and uh, a bunch of other creators, and I was, it actually looked like kind of a cool shirt. I wanted to buy it. Something I might wear out in public, you know? All right, I think we have enough money to afford a room now. Don't we? We have a shower, you know, don't, you don't have to go to the bed. What if you just went into a cafe, and they didn't even have toilets or sinks? They just had a shower, and no explanation, and you just had to complete whatever work it was that you had to do in that shower. Do you think that would be a good time? Have I? Oh, that's my business. That's not, that's my business. Okay, so I clearly have made a mistake. I've managed to open the club. We have the live-in business working. I wasn't enabling scripting mods. Chat helped me. Thank you very much, chat. I do appreciate that. I need a computer to collect the earnings, so people will just Venmo me their money, I guess. This is the new millennial economy that people just open up one house, which is it's a square of sheetrock without a roof, to be fair. Oh, no, we did build the roof on there. I take that back. There was a roof. It's not a very good-looking roof. I'll show it to you. Um, can we see that awesome roof again? We can't even see the roof. All right, well, whatever. There is probably a roof up there. Um, but we've got our live-in business. It costs $1 to come into the club. Are we able to change that price? Live in business. Yeah, change club entrance fee, but it's it's currently just one. One whatever. But now everybody seems to be spawning into my lot. Sitting on my bed and playing the violin. It's honestly unclear if they're really at the club. I'm fabulously wealthy. No, I don't have any money. All I was doing was selling paintings for the last few hours. Oh, toggle up a floor. Thank you. Yes, we do have just a, it's a great looking place to go to party. You never know what kinds of people you'll meet in here. Also, Jersey o th uh, 0032, thank you very much for the prime. Um, so let's go ahead and buy a computer or some sort of tablet so that we could collect our earnings. Is $1,400 enough for a computer in this post-apocalyptic world we're living in? Jesus Christ. This is probably the worst challenge I've ever done. Oh yeah, where did my barista go? But look, everybody's showing up to the club. Fourteen ninety-five. Let's raise the entry fee price. Why are all these people over there? And how can I attract them into my club? Should probably get a dance floor because right now it is pretty bad. Oh, and we could have multiple of them too. Hey, look, people are paying the entry fee into our club because now we're at fourteen ninety-seven. They're paying. 
They they like a nice cheap club. Basically just, yeah, look, there we are. We're making more money. They aren't going into the club, of course. They're just hanging out on the grass in my property. But, you know, I've seen it go up a couple of dollars since this began. You know, we'll get them to kind of buy... There, we got another sale, another one into our club. Everybody wants to come to our club. And they just hang out on my lawn, and I just get to keep sleeping. And they don't complain. And they're even cleaning up some of my garbage. Either that... Oh my gosh, wow, I'm getting them to do the labor for me. And they're paying me. I'm Tom Sawyering them. Are they using my furniture too? I have a shower back there if anyone's feeling filthy from taking out the trash. This is great. They're practically my employees. This is a good time. There's also a windmill so that we don't have to spend as much money on electricity and we sell it back to the grid. I'm feeling better. People are around me talking and stuff. I should do this in my own house. You know, just sell a couple of rooms. I might feel less lonely. <laughs> Come Come for the club, stay for the trendy performance art. I mean, that's based. All right, let's try it. Now that we've got, like, the network effect, you know, we've got some externalities. Let's go ahead. Let's raise the club entrance. Let's make it 10. It's still pretty reasonable. 10. We got so many people. It's honestly too many people on my property here. Oh, no, they're all leaving. Hang on a second. Is it just because it's that time of day? Let's make it maybe 2. Okay, great. They're coming back. No, I love fitness. There we go. Okay, good. More company. More people sitting on my bed with me. Good. More people are fading into existence at my house, which is a club. And they're doing push-ups, too. It's like, you know, when you and your buddies have too many drinks and you do a push-up contest outside a bar. Except for us, it's just a bunch of people who... Look like they have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, hang out next to a windmill, you know? Maybe it's like an AA group. Like an AA group. Smell the grass, clean up my plates, do some community service. We'll be making $2 again in no time when more people want to come on. So now that I have com uh, company and, and stuff, let's go ahead and get a refrigerator, and we'll try to attract the people into the club to spend money on things as, as the day progresses. So let's go in to our buy menu and we'll get a, let's get a refrigerator. Here we go. This looks awesome. Oh, let's get a nice one. No, we don't need a nice one. We'll get the, literally just the cheapest fridge. Don't get scammed into buying an expensive fridge. They all break. And we'll, we can't bake. We can't do anything. We'll just drink some milk. That's good. It'll be like a clockwork orange in no time. Oh, look, I'm in the club. <laughs> Suddenly. And, you know, I'm getting some actual business ideas from this. Here we go. Hey, baby, do you sit on this bed and drink milk here often? <laughs> just like a woman looks so upset. <laughs> Why am I doing that? <laughs> I'm doing like that. I gotta... Oh, don't you dare go off your property, mister. Get back on your property. You are not allowed to talk to anyone. You're breaking the rules of this challenge. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, my God. I haven't laughed this hard at a challenge in a while. This is a good time. All right, um... Here we go. We're gonna need. He's gonna need to. Do we have like a bidet over here? Atlantis plum trap. The copper stopper. No, that's not very expensive. Oh no, this is an animal toilet. Whoops. I. I almost made that mistake. Why are these things so expensive? Alright, we'll just put this in. It'd be like some sort of incognito dump will occur over here. There we go, just so that you can see the light. Have the moody thought there or something. Oh, these are slightly more normal looking toilets. Why didn't I take one of these? The Ambassador. <laughs> Why does they have to pick the creepiest possible name for a toilet? Indumpnito. Yeah, that's it. 
So you go over there. Where is our protagonist? Okay, stop doing the... I have to... <laughs> that's kind of funny. Pay me. Pay me. You're at my club. Pay me. There we go. I'm happy again. I'm going to the fridge. Let's set the entrance fee to our club even higher. Because there's just too many people here. We need to find the right amount of supply and demand. we got to charge them a little more. Price. <laughs> hmm? I just like to show everyone my, you know, my backside. To show them how in what good shape I'm in. You know, that's my way of flirting. Here we are. Look, people are taking pictures of my art. Hey, that's that'll cost you. That'll cost you. Here I am selling my body and just drinking milk, selling my property. This is how it's going to be, you know? You take on an extra roommate. It's It'll be a decent life. Just millennials, we're, we're going to have it bad, but we'll we'll make the best of it. So I think this is our basic business to start. Let's try opening up another business. You know, they say after your first one is successful, you got to get in you got to get in some new business venture where you have greater leverage. We'll start an online business or something like that. I think we'll have a um Uh, well, let's just make it a little bit crazier first. <laughs> Daycare. Yeah, just let me take care of your- Yeah, actually, you know what? This does make sense. Drop off the kids while you guys talk. I mean, because they aren't really dancing at this club. Look, it's just guys- Or women, too. Okay, women are just working out in front of the dudes to impress them. I like this. It's like reverse chivalry. Looks like the size of my apartment. We've got some progress going on in this neighborhood. Look at this. It's a diverse bunch of people. All the women are working out. Some of the men are too. People are getting in shape. There's no alcohol. This is like what we desire. This is a utopian society. Morgan Chip, thank you very much for the sub. So how do we open a daycare around here? We must ask ourselves naturally. Look, we're making so much more money just from living here. This is the stupidest challenge I may have ever created. I think I've outdone everything else from before. You know, we now have a successful club and bar that requires basically no maintenance and is the most popular place in town because as you know, after the uh, incident in the United States, all millennials were just kicked out of their homes and now everyone is at the club just cleaning up dishes for fun. Cannon. Oh look, there I am in my underwear again, fantastic. Maybe the bar stools will help. Well, I got to get into a more lucrative business now, though. Everyone's just paying me three dollars. Maybe we'll raise it to five. We got to get this. We got to get this thing going. I was making more. Could we also open the daycare so that the people at the club take care of the children? It's like it's a club. <laughs> take care of these kids. That's the game, you know. <laughs> like, and we just we just get it like as a quirky you know side hustle to the business venture maybe that's what uh maybe that's the theme of the club uh yeah and the kids take care of the animals it's like the perfect pyramid scheme and then the people reproduce and have more kids and then they're we're making them pay to take care of their own kids yeah, name the club respon club responsibility. That could happen. Club birth control. After you come in here, you'll be reminded why you should stay away from other humans forever. Don't reproduce. Just just keep going with your life, and don't don't look at any of the other humans. Okay, I'm. Wait, are there? Yeah, there are kids coming out now. Okay, great. Wow. This is awful. All right, so we've just now turned the club into also a daycare. So now there's just children wandering around, or they should start to wander around our property. See, there's one out on the street, and the people at the club are taking care of the babies. So, I mean, 
make of that what you will. But I think it's a brilliant pseudo pyramid scheme. It's not because it's like one business is running the other. I swear this is all completely legal. Um, <laughs> you have to sign a waiver before everyone signs a waiver before they come in. Or your parents, just whoever it is, they're waivers all over the street. But you know, they're taking out my garbage, they're sitting on my bed. So I could at least deduct that as like 50% of an expense because it's being used half for sleeping and half for a couch at the club. I'm selling drinks at the bar and then people just drop off their kids and then they have to take care of their own kids. Can this business get any better? If I see the club feature at the bottom right and make my own pe people to work as unpaid employees. Hang on a second. I checked off some new goal off of the list. My hygiene isn't too good, but I think that might be bringing more people in. I did this. This is <laughs> this is literal Chuck E. Cheese. Nobody works at the place. It's just a bunch of parents watching their kids. Who's in charge here? I'm not going to leave until I see that there's an employee. And then you notice that it's just a bunch of other children. No one worked at the Chuck E. Cheese in the first place. People are just putting tickets and coins into a register. Club, gym, entrance fee. Yeah, there we go. Okay, very cheap gym. You just do... Uh, plyometric, or what is it? K kinies... Kin kinematics. You do kinematics at my house. Oh my god, look, people are doing the painting for me. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? Holy cow. This is stupidly overpowered. Other sims are just coming to my house and they're doing painting for me. I'm doing sit-ups in my yard. That's technically a gym. They're paying me $2 per gym entrance. $5. Look, she's shown up in her gym. Oh, I thought that was a gym shirt. Never mind. Maybe this is just a new gym trend, you know? Like an influencer gym trend. We got the daycare going. We just got to figure out how to get the... um. We got $740 that we could... Look, man, the money's just coming in now. In droves. Okay, let's get some walls. Mm. There we go. Walls. Wall boy. No, no, not medium wall. Uh, room. How do we do room again? B? Oh, there we go. Well, uh, wait a minute. Square room. Square boy room. Just that. That's it. That's the gym. Right. I mean, I know they're not very good buildings, but again, this is just a test, mind you. I I don't really need the walls. I just sort of need a door and an enclosed space, so that's fine. Okay. Um. Hmm. Door. Oh, yeah. We needed to do the, um, whatchamacallit. Let's go back in here. Door. Filter items. Packs. We will do the get together and go to work. Give me one of those doors. Squeaks and creaks door. That's good. Just go into that dark room there that looks like a porta potty. And that is the, um, oh, we never even put a fee on the daycare. Three. Three dollars. Trump. <laughs> People will bend over uh, at the waist to to send their kids. I don't know what that expression means. To get their kids to this daycare. It's so expensive to get your kids taken care of. Bending over at the waist and picking up toys. And Why did that sound so oddly wrong? I don't care. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, as long as the kids come back alive, I'm pretty sure they'll be... In real life, they might be willing to sign up for this type of thing, too. People might look at me, back at me, as the philosopher who never was. Who could have been. I reinvented a whole generation using only The Sims. Man, we're rich. Okay, this home bit... Ugh. Look at this. This is actually viable. Look, he's so happy because everyone's giving him their money. I wonder if there's a limit on the number of sims we can get. People like it because it's cheap. This is a good lesson to be learned here. Oh, look, I can just sleep in my bed. This is totally passive income. Okay, we just won the sims. This is incredible. Home business. 
this is the strategy we're doing. Expect a video in about a week or uh, 10 days or so. Anyway, that's when I'm going to be doing it. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Thank you, Twitch chat, for helping me to get this to become a reality. It's just coming in now. Now we just have to figure out how to max it out. I am surprised at how well this is working, actually. I'm not in bed. I'm going to have to buy more beds. I love how scuffed this is. We got it to work. I can't believe that it worked this well, though. Although I am going to have to figure out how to run more businesses from this house. This is... Man, the windmill. I love how we've tried out one of everything. And it's all just... <laughs> this is so poorly executed and yet so perfect at the same time. This is literally what YouTube videos are made of. I kind of love it. I just get such great satisfaction when it works out this well. Uh, anyway, thank you for being here for this historic... Uh... Oh my god, look, they're serving the drinks for me. Did I hire this guy? No, this is just some vigilante pouring drinks in my bar. Alright, well, an even better time then. He's charging people for me. Whatever. Man, I have way too many friends now. Money, money, money. Send me your money. There we are. I am a terrible person. Anyway, who should we raid? Is anyone else doing The Sims or something equally ridiculous?